Well, it's official. The GOP convention is heading to the Sunshine State this summer. The RNC unanimously deciding to scale down convention plans in Charlotte, North Carolina, and host the celebratory aspects in Jacksonville, Florida, including the president's acceptance speech. Here with what this means for his great city, Jacksonville, Mayor Lenny Curry. Good morning to you, Mr. Mayor. Good morning. What's your reaction? What do you make of uh, being chosen as the place where this will happen? Well, we're grateful it's going to be here. We were able to demonstrate uh, the ability to put together and put on an event uh, in a safe, responsible way as we emerge from COVID-19. We, we, uh, we were responsible during the pandemic. Uh, we came out of it with, uh, we flattened the curve pretty quickly over time. Our hospitalizations are low. We demonstrated a month ago that we can put on uh, uh, events. We're not going to operate out of fear. We're going to operate out of data science and get people back to work in a responsible way. And that's what this convention is. Now, I have to ask you, Mayor, you are seeing a rise, a spike in cases in Florida. What is your reaction, particularly should this continue to be the case? Uh, well, we're testing. We've got a number of testing sites up. We, we, we were on the front end of testing when the pandemic started. We continue to add. Uh, but we recall when this all started, all the experts told us the goal is flatten the curve, protect the hospital and health systems. Without a vaccine, the virus is with us. We've done that in Jacksonville. We've done that in Florida. Our hospitalizations are low. We watch that daily. Uh, we're going to have to learn to live with this virus in, a virus in a responsible way, take care of those that are most likely to, uh, to uh, get it and end up with symptoms and in the hospital. But we got to get people back to work. And uh, we've been doing that now for weeks, working with our governor. And we're yeah. going to put on a big event and have a major economic impact for our, our businesses. Mr. Mayor, I don't want to put you on the spot, but I have a very interesting question. Having covered a lot of conventions, this one will be unlike any other. But do you, do you anticipate seeing people with masks, wearing masks? Well, look, this is uh, eight to ten weeks out. Uh, so whatever the protocols are then, we will uh, we'll have them in place to make sure people are safe. We're going to have temperature checks. Uh, but go back just a month and a half, two months ago. There were experts saying there would be no sports this summer or the fall. There were experts saying theme parks wouldn't be reopened. Uh, and that stuff's happening now. So if our trends continue, uh, we, uh, we are, we've been headed the right direction as we phase our reopenings. We expect to have a full arena uh, and celebrate the renomination of President Trump. You say a lot's happening. Listen, you've got the GOP convention, and I even saw Captain Sandy from Below Deck bought a 106-year-old firehouse building. Is Jacksonville the place to be in America right now? It is the place to be. Uh, yes, I met with her yesterday. We've got major economic boom development happening that started before the pandemic, and people are ready to get moving. She bought an old firehouse. She's going to do some cool stuff there, including a restaurant. Also, she's got a great idea. The way that our river sets, uh, the depth of it, we're one of the few cities where you could bring a super yacht in and actually get it out of the water if you need to for, uh, for purposes. So All we, right. we're on the move. Come to Jacksonville. All right. Be safe. Thank you, Mayor Lenny Curry. I appreciate your time, sir. Thank you.